Kenneth Okonko, the spokesperson of the Labour Party, your spokesperson for Peter has dumped, as threatened to dump him if this happens. He said, if this happens, he will dump him. The spokesman of Peter in the 2023 presidential election. Okonko Kenneth has confirmed that there is an ongoing negotiation among multiple political parties to merge together. However, Kenneth Okonko maintained that Peter B will not be anyone's vice president if the major works. Kenneth Okonko made this known during an interview on Channel TV. During the interview, Kenneth Okonko said if Peter B wants to be the vice president of Atiku Abubakar, he better do it alone and not with him, not with me. Yes, I am serious about it. Why am I saying so? A man is approaching 80 years and is talking of election. By year, by the year 2027, how old will he Atiku Abu be? Do you know what Wale Shonika said? He said, when I went to Aso Rock, I told the president that I had to, I had told you not to run. It was based on age. It was nothing personal. Babangida said he would prefer anybody younger. You are saying that after our fight in 2023 and Peter B had a chance of becoming a vice president and he did not become a vice president and in 2027 he will now go back when the man Atiku Abubakar has denigrated more in uh, degenerated more in age and capacity. He will now go back and become vice president. <laughs> what? We like tell Nigerians uh, that is if you're uh, before that time, uh, you before that time, you must have gone back to the PC because you have you have put the caveat there that uh, you only resign, you did not defect. Mm. So you should not even bother yourself. You are going to you are going back to the PC, <laughs> yeah. Typical arrogance that shows lack of political maturity, beautiful lines, brilliant outing. This masquerading mongrels don't understand politics this guy does not even know that politics is a game of numbers it's a game of numbers and you guys are not even enjoying anything it's all about game of game of numbers for the politicians who are always there to acquire wealth through taxpayers money so is it all about a you know game of numbers game of numbers that does that do not even have a positive impact on the lives of the people hey Hmm. This guy does not know that a uh, policy is a game of numbers. Atiku brought Obi into national politics. The vote that Obi got in 2023, he cannot get in 2027. Yoruba that voted for Obi in 2023 would rather vote for Tinubu. <laughs> is it the same Yoruba that are crying that they are regretting voting Tinubu because they had hopes, high expectations? So uh, the same people now go and vote for Tinubu again. When they knew that Tinubu did not even do anything for the Southwest, they just said, okay, let them even try. Now they try. Less than six. Even the very day he, 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 he was inaugurated, they started crying. See, today, the Yorubas are the only tribe crying in Nigeria because of a uh, hardship and poverty. So those are the same people you expect to go and vote for Tinubu again. <laughs> Which one is... Okay, this one is saying that uh, farmers... They would that they would prefer to vote for Tinubu in 2027 if Tinubu can reduce insecurity. Poor, where poor northern farmers, whom are majority Christians, can go to their farms without being killed, they will massive, massively vote for Tinubu instead of Peter B that they voted for in 2023. So 2027 is going to be a different ball game entirely. You say if Tinubu and Tinubu now see the same people that voted for him, the same Sharia people group, have been. Sharia Council group are crying that they are they regret of voting for Tinumbu. See what they are getting. The same people. You say if <laughs> these people they are just funny. Which one is poor northern farmers whom are majority Christian? Must you bring religion in every write up for your information? The statistics you portray are false. Think well before you talk. We all saw how Tinumbu emerged before 2019. How votes do Atiku no more gates. Believe it or not, Peter B is standing out in Nigeria politics. It's like the air of magnets. The more you try to stop him, is the more he moves and gathers. He is coming has changed a lot of political mentalities. My question is, the Yorubas, are they not feeling pains of this hardship? 
fuel price has gone up beyond imagination. You mean they are not seeing the failures, inefficiency, inefficiencies, and lacking of capacity? How much are we realizing from subsidy remover? And where is the money being invested? Senators and House of Members, House of Reps member are getting cars worth over 100 million naira. Bogus expenditure on, on constitutional office. You may jump in. You may be jumping and praising the CCP sent a vainglorious cut down on traveling allowances. Don't deceive yourself and stop being irrational. Is it not within one week? We are in Tinubu. Tinubu is, you know, the, the, the government of Tinubu is a scam. He himself is a scammer. Less than one week when he was he was talking and the, they were praising him that, uh, oh, he reduced the cost of governance. The same man has blew for another loop again to clear the nonsense. The people's mandate, Mr. Peter B, can never be VP to Mr. Atiku Abubakar. Not in this life, by the grace of Almighty God. Without O B as center of attraction, no major will ever survive. O B is the structure. Atiku and Kwakwansu are fit politicians. This major can never work because of entitlement mentality. Yes. That is a good news for Tinubu. Obi helped Tinubu to win. He did not help Tinubu. Tinubu read his way with Buhari, INEC, Judiciary, all of that. Obi, Tinubu did not win. How did he help Tinubu to win? Did he rig the election or for him? Just pure rubbish. Hmm. Yes, this Koko uh, uh, is he acting as scripts handed to him. What makes him so sure is Obi can ever be the VP. Oga policies is not only less people. The worst part of it is that people are not even concerned about it. leave a politics for politicians. You that you are supporting them, you that you are saying one thing or the other, you should be bothered about how you are going to be feeding. That is what should be called. Forget them. Let them be talking about politics. You are there saying somebody is not going to be okay now between obi and those people who voted for tinubu who are the people who is suffering more is it not the same people who voted for tinubu